calling it a miracle. This morning, through flames and thick smoke, they managed to rescue an infant trapped inside a burning multifamily building in a frog hollow. As Channel 3's Kristen Williams reports, this is a neighborhood that's had to fight too many flames. It wasn't the light of dawn that woke residents at 79 Putnam Heights. It was the fury of a two-alarm blaze. And for one mother, it couldn't have been worse. Her baby trapped in a smoky front bedroom, so close to the front door, yet so far from safety. It has to be a miracle. I don't know how they got this baby. They fought their way through this heat and smoke that's just... Unbelievable. I don't know how he did it. When I saw him come out the front door with the baby, it was like, it's got to be a mirror. I got to be dreaming. The guy pushed my window. I don't know what happened. I wake up. Yeah, I'm going outside. The four families who live here managed to wake each other up and get out of the building, leaving firefighters to battle more than just an average blaze. And upstairs is like coated with a shiny sheet of varnish from the heat and paint. It's like when it starts to burn, it flashes real fast. It'll burn from the back to the front, and you're just trapped. And you can take any mask you want, any turnout gear you want, you're going to be dead. You can't get out, period. Now the investigation begins on a street where arson has struck too many times. There have been quite a, quite a few fires here. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe we're getting to the bottom of it. Firefighters say considering the odds they faced here, it's amazing there are only minor injuries. They say that's due to a lot of teamwork and a little luck. Here in Hartford, Kristen Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And Kristen tells us the baby is now doing fine. A firefighter, however, was treated for exhaustion. As Hartford firefighters were battling that blaze, another fire erupted this morning in an apartment building on Farmington Avenue. About 20 families were forced from their homes. The Red Cross is helping to find temporary shelter for those fire victims. No serious injuries were reported, but some residents had to be treated.